Hey there, how you doing? My name's Dave McRae. Uh, I want to talk about that uh, Toronto sign at Nathan Phillips Square right now, okay? The date today is Thursday, July the 16th, 2015. The uh, 2015 Pan Am Games is on right now in Toronto. And as I sit here and speak, there is this great sign at Nathan Phillips Square, right at the edge of the water there, uh, where, where it says Toronto. Like, each letter is individual, and it's like LED, and it glows at nighttime with all sorts of millions of light combinations. You know, it's really awesome, really, 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 really cool. And I I was down there at Nathan Phillips Square about uh, uh, five or six days ago, the, the the very first day of the Pan Am Games. I'm down there with my girlfriend, and we're walking through Nathan Phillips Square, right? And we see this sign, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, that's amazing. That is am that's just totally awesome. And I turned to her and I said, you know, this should stay here after the Pan Am Games is done. But then I thought, ah, you know, it's not going to happen. And she agreed, you know, she she, she agreed with me. She, she was like, ah, no, it's probably not going to happen. It's Toronto. You know, they're not going to, you know, not going to recognize something, you know, that valuable and keep it there. Well, two days later, you know, it's all over the news that, you know, it's such a draw. Tourists are loving this thing. People are, you know, hanging off of it, getting their photos taken with it, you know. That city hall and the city is thinking, hey, maybe we should keep it here. Uh, duh, yeah, exactly. But now, now they put out this question to the people of Toronto, okay? And the question is, should we keep the sign where it is or should we move it around in different locations throughout the city? Why would you want to move it around in different locations throughout the city? And here's why you don't want to do that, okay? There's only three options of where this sign could go. Where it currently is at Nathan Phillips Square, which is Toronto City Hall, okay? At Dundas Square, okay, which is a huge tourist hotbed. It's like the little Times Square of Toronto, right? With all the LED lights and the billboards and all that kind of stuff. Or the CN Tower, Okay, those are the only spots. Those are the only spots, and here's why. This is for the tourists, okay? This is not for me. This is not for you if you're not a tourist, okay? Yes, people who live in Toronto are gonna be, oh, this is kind of cool, and maybe we'll get our picture taken with it, but the novelty is gonna wear off pretty quick. When was the last time, Torontonians, I'm speaking to you, when was the last time you got your picture taken in front of the CN Tower? Probably a while ago, okay? Because, you know, the novelty wears off, and yeah, you know, I live here, and you know, sort of take it for granted a little bit, right? This is for the tourists. So what do you want? You want it to be in an immediate, identifiable location, a hotbed, and you want it to always be there because people are going to come home from Toronto and they're going to say to their fellow uh, uh, friends and family members and people who are maybe going to Toronto, you got to go to Nathan Phillips Square and get your picture taken with a Toronto sign. You got to go to Dundas Square. First of all, it's amazing with all the lights and they have this really cool Toronto sign. You got to get your picture taken with it. You want it to be in a location that people know where to go. You don't want it fluctuating all around the goddamn city and nobody knows where to go. Where where is it? Oh, it's there. And then they go over there. Oh, oh, it moved. Oh, and they get... You don't want to do that to people visiting Toronto. Keep it in one location. It's completely and unequivocally unnecessary to move it around the city because this isn't for the people of Toronto. This is for the tourists. That's it. I'm seeing people commenting online. Yeah, you should put it at the Scarborough Bluffs. That'd be cool. Hey, what about Downsview Park? Why would you put it at Downsview Park? How many Americans and people all over the world coming to Toronto are going, this is great, we're going to go to the CN Tower, the ROM, um, Downsview Park. Um, give me a break. Nobody is doing that. You don't do that. That's not how you present the city to the world, okay? Holy snapping crap. Keep it... Th this shouldn't even be a friggin' question. You need people in there going, no, no, we're not even going to ask the question. It stays there. And here's why. End of discussion.